present participle and gerund. What's the difference between those two? Okay. Uh, participle, okay, so we have a past participle, you know what I mean. Okay, so go, went, to gone, that, that number three. Okay, gone. Uh, present participle is with ing. Okay, so going, something going on right now or something like that. Okay, so ing. So, actually, uh, you use infinitive form of verb. Okay, so verb. Okay, plus ing. That's it. All right. So, hey, so difference between those two actually depends on how you use this one. Okay. So, first one, let's say progressive form. Okay. Progressive. All right. Progressive means, okay, something going on right now or, hey, you know, in the past or something was going on. Okay. So, progressive. All right. So, progressive, like this, I am running, or he is working hard, something like that. Okay, so, uh, that means, okay, this progressive form, um, you must have be verb. So, be verb right there. Be verb means, you know what I mean, so be, okay, that's, uh, infinitive form, okay, so original form, so infinitive. Okay, then uh, past form was like a was or were. Then uh, present form of words is like am, is, were. Okay, so present form of were is are. Okay, things like that. So, what is the past participle? Okay, past participle for this one is being, right? Okay, so, or obviously, present participle is being, okay, with ing. Alright. So, simply, uh, formula for this one is like a b, uh, b verb, okay, and plus uh, verb ing, right? Okay, so that's it. Okay, so, then we call this one right here, okay, present participle, okay. Uh, what about gerund? We use this one as noun. Uh huh. Yeah, treat this one like a noun. Then we call this one gerund, okay. So, uh, noun means like a thing, okay, something, okay. So, uh, same formula, okay. So, be verb plus ing okay from okay so hey this is a good example right here okay seeing is believing it is it all right so uh, actually in this case we call this one gerund okay so uh, some people okay this is like okay gerund okay also this one gerund okay so now, some people confuse with gender. Gender means female or male business, right? Okay, so my gender is male. Okay, my wife's gender is female. Things like that, all right? Uh, or, hey, uh, think about it. Okay, Gerund, uh, uh, thank you for your coming. Or, thank you for coming. Okay, then, hey, coming means what? Thank you for what? Okay, that's why you treat this one like a noun. Okay, then we call this one gerund. Okay, so th that's what the difference between present participle and gerund. Before I forget, uh, I want to talk to you about participle. You know what participle means, right? Okay, actually originally verb, okay, but this one... Uh, we are using this one as noun, like this gerund, or sometimes, you know, adver adjective, okay? Sometimes, okay, you use this one on different uh, uh, part of speech, then uh, we call part, say participle, okay? Uh, same as, uh, like an infinitive, you know what infinitive, right? Infi what's the infinity? Infinity means, uh, like a 
big number, right? It's like a big number in math. Okay, things like that. That means too many. Okay, infinity. Okay. So, infinitive of verb. Okay. Uh, then, uh, usually, uh, also, we use uh, to or uh, infinitive. That means uh, to go, okay, to buy, okay, to see. That's why uh, we can use that one for this one. Okay, right here, below this one. Uh, uh, seeing is believing. Then you can use that one uh, to infinitive, like uh, to see is to believe. Okay? Also, you have to know one more rule. Okay, usually we don't mix, okay, gerund and uh, to infinitive. Okay, so as you see right here, the same thing. This is a noun, okay, noun form. Okay, this one also noun form, okay, but we used to infinitive right there. So we can use this one so many different ways, okay. So sometimes this one, like, uh, okay, uh, to buy something, okay, that means. Uh, so for buying, okay, so actually uh, that's, you know, you use a different uh, part of speech, okay. So uh, that's why in this case, okay, uh, so to see is believing? No, as well as possible, we're not going to mix gerund and uh, uh, to infinity, all right? Okay, to make sure, okay. Uh, infinity means too many, okay, so too many different ways to use, so that's why we use, we call this one infinitive, that's right. Okay, if you use two, that means two infinitive. If you use just uh, like a two go, okay, two go, that means two infinitive. If you use a go, okay, just a go, okay, then that's infinitive, okay. That's it.